So we have two ticket halls, uh, one at the western end on Moorfields, one at the eastern end on Liverpool Street. In both instances you can access the station from the existing underground stations, but both have their own new public entrances. The Liverpool Street is probably one of the most constrained uh, of the stations on Crossrail. What we've tried to do is uh, accentuate and make the best use of the volumes that we have give an exciting architectural treatment to the walls and the soffits that will be memorable and very much identifiable as Liverpool Street. We've adopted the same architectural approach to both ends of the station. We've tried to give, take geometric ideas, strong geometric forms to give a strong identity to the station. At Broadgate, at the eastern end of the station, the, under, the new ticket hall is below ground. And what we've created is a new glazed canopy uh, that sits up above the ground and acts as a beacon to the station entrance itself. That will be illuminated at night and it will be very much a sort of pathfinder to the station entrance. We've uh, set up a series of stainless steel por portals that fan out and, and mimic the architecture of the ceiling. And so we bring some of the architecture of the below ground area through the design of the glazed canopy. At Moorfields, it's a ticket hall at ground level that gives you access into the new underground entrance, which then gives you access to escalators and lifts. You then pass into a series of tunnels where the forms are much more rounded, um, which takes you down into the platforms. So the architecture becomes much more fluid as you get deeper down into the ground. The Crossrail project as a whole has a, a series of common design elements has looked to try and develop a language of the architecture of the, the lower levels, the platforms, the concourses. And what we've done is we've taken those materials, those forms, the signage, and we've given our own architectural adaption to it. When we're designing uh, stations and infrastructure generally, we look to try and make them robust. Uh, they have to last, their design life is very long. So we look at a palette of materials that is generally self-finished, is hard wearing, uh, they're good spaces for people to move through and overall we want people to feel safe and uh, enjoy the experience of working through the station. We've used a lot of precast concrete uh, in the soffits, in the columns and we've taken a mix that is similar to a Portland stone. Uh, we use a lot of glass and stainless steel. We have major pieces of public realm that we have to tie in with. We have to knit quite often the station into the architecture of the city. It's really exciting now to start seeing uh, the station coming together.